All right, my crafty friends, we are going to take these Dollar Tree signs and turn them into stall signs. Look at these pretty plaques that will go on the front of some horses' stalls. No, these are not my horses, but I made them for a friend. And this was such a fun and easy project to do. So instead of me sitting here talking about it, how about we go make some stall signs? All right, so we're starting with these signs. It's five o'clock somewhere and they almost look like surfboards. And I'm going to remove the hangers. Always gotta remove the hangers first. And the backs of these signs are perfect 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 but there's a lot of glitter on the other side so I don't want any of this glitter to get all over the front of my stall sign so I am going to sand down all of the glittered surfaces and this will be the back of the sign so it's really not that big of a deal but like I said there was a lot of glitter so I thought it would be best to remove as much glitter as possible before starting the project. The Dollar Tree sure likes its glitter. Again, these are metallic paints and this is folk art and this is kind of a lavender purple, kind of a soft purple color, but it does have a really nice shimmer to it. So I'm going to paint this Dollar Tree sign all with this purple paint. And while the first coat of the purple is drying, I'm going to go to the second stall sign and this is going to be in a pink metallic paint. Again, this is folk art paint and it is an acrylic paint, so it's really easy to apply and it's easy to clean up too with just soap and water. Now my first coat of paint is dry, so I'm going to add a second coat of the purple metallic paint to the stall sign and get a nice thick coat of the paint on the sign itself. And I think you can see that the dry purple paint, there isn't a lot of dimension. There's definitely some shine, but I want it to have a little more dimension, so I'm gonna add in some darker purple to give it a little extra something. So I'm just adding a little bit more of that metallic paint to make sure I have a really nice wet surface. And next I'm going to add in some lines of that darker purple paint. And then I'm just gonna blend the paints together. I really like how this looks. It definitely gives a little bit of extra something to the stall sign.
end, I'm gonna repeat the process on the pink sign. So again, giving a nice thick coat of the original metallic pink paint. And then adding in a little darker pink paint, just some lines. And then just blending the two paints together. This is why it's important to have a nice thick coat of paint first before blending, because you get a little bit of definition between the two paint colors. And then I'm going to allow them to dry. And while the paint was drying, I used my Cricut machine with some permanent white vinyl for the names. And I think you can see the sign, it's nice and shiny. And that's because I used Krylon Triple Thick Clear Gloss. And it's a spray paint, but it works really well, especially if you're going to be using the vinyl letters for Dollar Tree signs because I found in the past that when you attach vinyl to the Dollar Tree signs, it does peel up the acrylic paint. But by putting on that thick coat of spray paint, that protects the paint job while you're putting the vinyl lettering on. And once I got my majesty name separated, then all I had to do was attach that to the front of the stall plate. And like all of my other projects, this is permanent vinyl that I got from Amazon. I got it on a huge roll and it's really affordable and this vinyl works great for signs like this. And as you can see, the vinyl backing is coming off fine. I'm not peeling up any of the paint and I'm making an awesome and unique stall sign with a sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. So there is the beautiful sign all finished. And here is the pink one with Shiloh's name on the stall sign. And again, I'm not having any issues with removing the vinyl and keeping the paint in place. All right, here are my awesome stall signs for Majesty and Shiloh, all ready to be hung up on the front of their stalls. And you can see there's already pre-drilled holes because that was part of the original sign. So we don't have to worry about drilling holes and they can be hung up and they look beautiful. Be sure to come back for my next video and we are going to make some incredible Dollar Tree equestrian signs for our barn.